brought to you by the Endocrine Society and Hormone Health Network. X-linked hypophosphatemia, or XLH, is a rare genetic condition. It occurs when there is a genetic change in the FEX gene. This gene is responsible for regulating phosphates in the body. Phosphates provide the body with the mineral phosphorus. Phosphorus is essential for health, especially for strong bones, muscles, and teeth. The kidneys process the phosphate molecule to release phosphorus. XLH prevents the kidneys from processing phosphorus correctly, allowing too much of it to leave the body in urine. This is called phosphate wasting. Phosphate wasting leaves too little phosphorus in the body. This is known as hypophosphatemia. Hypophosphatemia leads to conditions called rickets and osteomalacia, which cause soft, weak bones. Although there can be other reasons for rickets, such as vitamin D deficiency, XLH is one of the few causes that is inherited. This means that it is passed down from parent to child on a changed gene. In about 20% of cases, though, a person develops XLH without any family history. This is because the gene changed on its own without inheriting it from a parent. This newly changed gene, however, can potentially be passed on to the person's children. XLH has other names, including hypophosphatemic rickets, X-linked rickets, vitamin D-resistant rickets, and phosphate diabetes. Symptoms of XLH often first appear in early childhood. Because phosphorus is important for normal growth and development, children with XLH may grow slowly and not grow very tall. When they start to walk, their legs may become bowed outward or bent inward. Other symptoms can include bone and joint pain, bone fractures, problems with tooth development, anesthesia, and headaches. If an X-ray is taken, bone and joint deformities may be seen. The sooner XLH is found and treatment begun, the better. The main treatment goal is to increase the level of phosphate to allow the body to develop and function more normally. This helps ease symptoms and stop them from getting worse. Treatment generally involves taking phosphate supplements, along with high-dose calcitriol, the active form of vitamin D, multiple times a day. An injectable medication taken every two to four weeks is also an option. Additional treatments help treat the disease's effects on the body. These include kidney medications, growth hormone therapy, corrective surgery, and dental procedures. In some cases, XLH symptoms are so mild they're not noticed until adulthood, but XLH may affect individuals at any age. An adult with untreated XLH may have bone and joint issues, including pain, arthritis, and fractures. Muscle pain, stiffness, and weakness are common. Hearing loss, dental, and kidney problems may also occur. Treating a lifelong condition like XLH requires a multidisciplinary approach. If you suspect that you or your child has XLH, see your healthcare provider. Getting the right diagnosis and starting treatment as soon as possible is vital to preventing problems, stopping existing problems from getting worse, and helping to provide a more comfortable, more functional life. For support information, visit xlhnetwork.org. And for more information on XLH and other rare genetic endocrine conditions, visit hormone.org.